Oh, thank you so much for taking my call. And it's been a delight to to be on hold because I've got gotten to enjoy all of your conversation, which mm. is it's so encouraging and I thank you so very much. Mm. I have what I think might might be a foolish question, but I'd like to know um, what your feelings are on people being cremated. When the rapture happens, what happens to a cremated body as opposed to a buried body? Well, now, I don't want you to lose any sleep on that one, okay? Uh, The reason I say that is that after a certain amount of time, the body turns back into dust anyway. Uh, You know, given enough time, the body returns to its constituent elements, and and uh, there's people who have been, you know, blown up or burned in a fire. I mean, there's just all kinds of things that we could talk about as related to this. But what I want you to keep in mind is this. Uh, number one, Christ is your creator. We see that in Colossians 1.16, John 1.3, 1 Corinthians 8.6, Revelation 3.14, and many other passages. Uh, Hebrews chapter uh, 1, verses 2 and following. Christ is the one that puts you together in the first place. Now, it's the same Christ or the same God who is going to resurrect you from the dead. It does not matter the the present state of your body, whether you've turned into dust due to being in the grave for a long, long time, or whether you've been uh, cremated. Uh, Your body will be resurrected just as much one way as the other. Now, having said that, let me just tell you what the history is, and the history is simply this. Uh, When you look at the biblical pattern as well as the pattern among the church fathers, the tradition was burial, burial into the ground. Um, Among the very few cases where cremation took place was only to prevent the defilement of bodies by enemy forces. This is what took place in the case of Saul. Saul's body was cremated so that it would not be uh, defiled by pagan invading forces. But everybody else got, got buried. But there's not a single command anywhere in Scripture against being cremated. And uh, certainly there's nothing in Scripture that would prevent us believing that God has the the incredible power to raise every one of his own people from the dead. And actually, he's promised to do that. Yeah, That's a promise that you find in Scripture. And I like to call it a body upgrade. (laughs) I call it a body upgrade because it's not going to have any more pain, no more sickness, no more hairs falling out of your head, no more wrinkles on your face. No more kidney disease or any other kind of disease for that matter. And apparently, Susie, you can still eat food because Jesus ate food four times in his resurrection body. Wow, that's exciting to me. I'm telling you what. <laughs> and I'm you also talk about heavenly cooking. <laughs> me too. You talk about the permaflesh too, which is kind of a neat thought. Yes. So, <laughs> so if you, if we're going to be resurrected and given new bodies, and that's something. We welcome your questions. Any question. You have end time questions and how the news maybe connects to Bible prophecy. We welcome them. 877 933 Two four eight four eight seven seven ninety three faith or email me Susie at myfaithradio.com. Having a great conversation with Dr. Ron Rhodes. We welcome your questions back with him in a minute. 